Hello everyone, Smox here from Celebrant Quest. I am a registered civil marriage celebrant in Australia, which means that I love love, but I also love playing video games. And we are back in Baldur's Gate 3. We are playing, um, what am I, a bard? Look at me with my beautiful violin. I'm absolutely loving this tune. Um, last episode, we had quite a little bit of mayhem happen in a ruin that was close to <laughs> close, close to the Emerald Grove. And um, honestly, I honestly I near wet myself. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, let's press on and see what's going to happen in the grove. Seems like a good moment to talk. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause mm, for me to join him. Thank you. <laughs> For your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Hi, Zevlor. I'm Smox. What place? Uh, what is this place? I take my thanks in coin. I take then my thanks have in coin. Luck looting the goblins outside. I've already done this that. This <laughs> is a druid's grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Okay, I have no quarrel with the druids. Why are they forcing you out, those goblins? Have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. How do I want to play this? Um. Okay, I guess I have no quarrel with the druids. And I am just looking for a healer. So why don't I tell them I won't stay long because I'm looking for a healer? Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. Right. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Hmm. This ritual. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? What brought you here? Uh, what? I guess I'm more interested in the druids. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare. If nothing else. Persuade her of what? That you can stay here? I want to try to help. I'll do what I can. My head's a wreck. I've got too much else to deal with right now. What are you offering for my aid? I feel like... Why would we care if the tieflings need to leave? I mean, it's not great, but... Would we care? I don't know. I think we should say my head's a wreck. I've got too much to deal with right now. Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. Ooh. I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. Oh my god, now I feel bad. If you'll excuse <laughs> me, I'd best get my people moving. Oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> Did I do a bad thing? Oh, you know what I haven't tried as well, just yet? Let's move into the sun. I haven't tried playing my violin for everyone. I think, perform the bard dance, let's do this one. No one, no one seems happy. That's a very shitty song, mate. What about this one? Wait. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's very cool, but no one cares. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we need to find someone as well that we can sell all our stuff to. Because boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff. All right, the hollow. That's okay, I guess. Pearls, we can't just 
leave their kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? Hmm. We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Are you a fighter? Or yell louder. That's fine too. Oh, they've got weapons on. Say nothing. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. Persuasion. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Wait, but didn't I just tell the chief that I didn't really care what was happening with them? I mean... Blades could make the difference. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by goblin blade. <laughs> Thank you, Roland. Thank you, Roland. Let's all say it. <laughs> Eager for battle. Don't be grumpy, Roland. How delicious. I am not grumpy. At the ready. I've got a long road ahead. Alrighty. Need to find a way forward. I want to have a word. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Thanks, mate. If we left, we could at least make a run for Here's it. Will. Chill. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. Oh dear. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. That's cute, man. Hey there, can I have a word? This swap is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. Mm. I've kind of gone down like the whole they're, they're hopeless thing. But is that too mean? All right, let's do it. They're hopeless. Ignore her, Umi. <laughs> Go on now. Practice what you've learned. <laughs> well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. We're smarter than everyone else. <laughs> yes, and we both carry parasites. Another recipe? Thank the gods. I need all the friends I can get. Who was that woman? The one in your thoughts. Peer further into his mind. Um. Uh. Mm. Yes. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once Again? more. Again? Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate, mm. a champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Who is she? Hunting in hells, dangerous territory, cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. Devil's advocate, do you think she'll bring the blood war to Faerun? Mm. 
cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. A fiend makes for poor company, unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. I'm not sure what that means. Her name is Karlak, <laughs> an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. <laughs> I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Mm. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Good luck with your devil problem. It seems your work's cut out for you. Let's say good luck with your devil problem. What does that lead to? Well met. And call on me if you find a fix for this affliction of ours. Might even join you once that devil's met my blade. Okay, so is that like... Is that the end of Will? Like he won't be at our party or anything? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Come on, I think it's time we get go on a devil hunt. I'd like you to, uh, I'd like to join up and find a cure for the parasite. Go and wait for me at camp. Well, let's tell him to go and wait at camp. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Alrighty, cool. Swing and swing and parry. I wonder how they go. I should follow. It. Oh, he just disappeared. <laughs> swing and swing. Question answered. All right. What's oh, no, no, no. Here? I don't want to steal that. Thank you. <laughs> he stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Well, that could be right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. Anything else on your mind? Mm. He's still staring right past you. Turn around and see what he's looking you at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Okay. I wonder if I could hit this trunk like I did the other one. Toughness. Some objects are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Alright, Lazel, bring over your fiery sword, darling. Ooh! Ready? And last one. Nice. Still breathing, despite everything. Scroll of Shocking Grasp. The target cannot use restrictions. Oh, sorry, reactions. This spell has advantage on cre creatures with metal armor. Huh. I have to keep going. Oh, um, I... Hi. I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. Right. So what's your side of the business? What? Um, I'm the guard. So don't steal anything. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Okay. Ooh. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Take the ring? That was a fancy trick or leave? That was a fancy you trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Okay. Sleight of hand, mimic the trick and make the ring disappear. Can we get it? Oh, we got it. I was sure it was not going to. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing... Call it. Heads or tails? <laughs> I can pocket the ring. Tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. Mm. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. 
Interested? Maybe. Hold on. One coin toss doesn't prove anything. No thanks. Could I see your other wares? Thanks for the free ring. Well, it doesn't really prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. All right, let's go Heads again. Or tails. Call it. Let's do tails again. We got tails. Oh wow. There. Happy? Uh, there. Happy? <laughs> Here, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. I am indeed. I've got a free ring. Not yet. Flip the coin again. Uh, flip the coin again. Really? I mean, fine. Heads <laughs> or tails? Tails? We got tails. There. Happy? There. Happy? Okay, fine. I am indeed. I've got a free ring. Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. Do I? Here, you can have it back. Now, what do you have for sale? You're getting paid in experience. This ring is mine now. Fine, keep it. Call it a sample, yeah? A but you've gotta at least look at the other rings, okay? I gotta eat. I don't have to do anything, goodbye. You'll be sorry about this, scab. <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Please, let's through. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, alrighty, bear. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Okay, sorry. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Why, what's so special down here? I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? Ignore them and proceed or leave. Mm, why? What's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Corga's orders. Hmm. Uh, well, I did the goblins, so... Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. Oh, I believe you. Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You... Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. We'll see, that's what I was saying all along, lady. Sacred pool. Oh. Oh, hi. Fish. I smell drama amongst these adventurers. Do you hear? What have you heard? By Ooh. Sylvanas, the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. Okay. Keep their confidence if you insist. Lol. Miniature giant spy space hamster, what? Taste of human eyes, ew. Bosk. Oh. No one wants to talk to us. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? Correct. A few questions, <laughs> if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Okay. Fine, ask her questions. And there's no overstating my disinterest. <laughs> I've no time for questions. Uh, fine, ask your questions. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind 
successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. This man's voice reminds me of Junk Cleese. That's what I think of. Uh, Bard, okay, a classic raid gang, complete with lasher and smashing of booyahs. <laughs> uh, they were goblins, same as all the others, lowly and vile. Give an exact description. Or, Bard again, didn't you see the tentacled ship? It was an illithid invasion force. The goblins were being controlled. Mm, let's go to the first one. Classic raid gang. My! A scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins? No, I can't say that I have. Mm, the time was spent among books. I'm a student of the page. I'd rather not say. Are we done here? I'm not unfamiliar with their kind, certainly. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm a geek. Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men. But to each their own. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There wasn't any dragon. Heh, it was brass, no doubt about it. I think it's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> what do you want exactly? But neither. It was a gold dragon. Scars glittering and wings gleaming. But dragons? Really? How gauche? <laughs> Let's say that it was a gold dragon with all its gleaming scales. A gold dragon? How marvellous. Thank heaven you were here to specify. Or I might have recorded a bold oh, first lie. <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. I like this guy. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Oh, of course. Yes, of course they did. Uh, yes, they called out the name like a war cry. I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. But quite so. They sang the phrase like a battle hymn. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. Mm. The scandal. The scandal. Mm. Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Hold your tongue. Or bard, dramatic. How has Maglaviet responded? Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Okay, that's random. Be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. Wait, about the conversation earlier, why the dragon? What brought you to the wilds in the first place? What about why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Until we meet again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that all he has to say? Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. That guy's awesome. Uh, pardon me, I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Where are you heading? To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute their worshipping might be I'll be the first to write about it alrighty good job mate hmm. okay what's up here Folk songs of Faerun. I'll give it a shot. My Conid song by Ogma. I hear it and I see it and I know it and I feel it, but I can't write it, or can I? Hmm. Okie doke. What else we got? Oh, uh, bowls. Don't mind if I do. This lady's just sitting there. <laughs> 
Utsuga orange and a lemon. Oh, what's in a vase? Nothing. That sounds red. <laughs> what's wrong? Dance upon the stars tonight. Oh. Smile and pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. Oh, well, she's singing better than I can. <laughs> All right, let's see. Look, Astarian looks uh, sad. I don't know what this face is. Um, stay silent and listen. What's that tune you're singing? How can I put this? That sounded a little unpolished. Bard, sing when words of mine will turn to ash. And Bard, what did that poor instrument ever do to you? You're butchering it. Oh my god, that's so rude. Um, let's try this Bard interaction. Words of mine will turn to ash. Words of mine will to ash when you call the last light down mm. continue singing moon reminds me of your grace gesture for her to continue that was terrible i'll show you how it's done oh my god that's so mean um why don't we sing with her moon reminds me of your grace all the love I can't repay. Oh my god, she sounds so sad. Rest and know that I will pray. Farewell, my dear old friend. Wait, that's it. Oh, it is? Thank you. I was having trouble finding the words. Oh my gosh, you're so welcome. Just keep at it. Who's the song about? Finding the words is an important part of being a singer, you know. <laughs> Why? Is, I can't be mean to her. Who's the song about? Lihala. My teacher. And friend. Sorry. Oh my god. Damn it. Are you okay? <laughs> Say nothing. It's all right. Let it all out. What's the matter? Um, <laughs> I, I guess it's all right. Let it all out. I don't usually. I'm all right. I haven't finished a song since Lihala died. Oh, God, she died? I haven't played at all, if I'm honest. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. Oh. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Oh, my God. That sounds terrible. I'm sorry. I'm sure your teacher would be proud to see you now. Hardly a unique tale of woe these days. Tough enough. <laughs> or oh, you won't last. Oh, my God. That's so mean. Well, you've come up with a fine tribute to her. Oh, my gosh. Um... Uh, I'm ter I'm I'm terrible. <laughs> I sounds terrible. I'm sorry. It was awful. I couldn't look at a lute without hearing her screaming. Oh my god. Until now, I'd forgotten what it was like. Maybe don't even look that at a lute then. <laughs> itch in my fingers to perfect a song. The weeping dawn will be my gift to her. Thank you. I I needed this. Too sweet, oh. odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. <laughs> Was I too nice to her? I, she's so lovely. <laughs> oh. Is she? Uh, is my game doing something weird? Is she supposed to be playing now? Because I can't hear anything. Oh my gosh! Look at this view. This is pretty. Oh, what's this? Oh, um, uh, Astarian, you're up, mate. 
symbol. All right, come in, spinner. Never a dull moment. Cap of curing. What's that do? Soothing songs. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also gain one to six hit points. That's me. Oh, f that's awesome. All right, well, let's put that on. Oh, baby. Okay, that looks cool. That looks really cool, actually. Anything else here? No, we got that one already. Very well. Can I talk to her again? It's still rough. But my song is getting there. I love how I just walk around with a violin on my back. Best be on my way. Alrighty. Let's go. So what have we got down here? Drama. I love the music in it. Oh. Something's happening. We've got an auto-save. I love the music here in this game. It's so beautiful. We get down here? Nope. What about here? Was there anything to pick up there? Singing. Investigate the Singing. beach. It's beautiful. Oh my god, Lazo, you're getting soft. <laughs> It's over there. Can't reach here. Oh, no. Oh, we can reach there though. Oh. Nice one. Jump over these. Oh, everyone's coming with me. That's good. Nice. Where can we go? That's curious. Ooh. Used to give with my bare hands. I need a shovel to dig this up. Do I still not have a shovel? Let's move. Like it's will be done. Did I sell the shovel? Did I even have a shovel? Still breathing. Despite everything. I sold the shovel, didn't I? <laughs> okay. We'll have to pick one up again. <clears throat> Here we go. Another step forward. So what have we got here? Have I been up here? No, I haven't been up here yet, I don't think. A secluded cove. Such a pretty song. Who's saying that? Who's that? I can't see them. All right, anything up here? Oh, a rib cage there. Mm. Mercon? Hmm. You're right, kid. <laughs> All these bones. singing a oh, there's a chest song. there who's singing is this game man Please. all right we're coming kitty what's up bro what's up here Sorry, it makes the funniest jumping sounds. Song. What's up, kiddo? Shh. Listen. Your favorite drownings will take place in shallow water. <laughs> Just a slice of the ankle tendons. Oh 
Oh my god, what on earth am I thinking? Listen quietly, you shouldn't be standing out in the water, it's dangerous, I'll leave. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> um, let's listen. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. A harpy's charm. Look, this kid is full into it, man. Look at this idiot face. <laughs> Close your eyes and listen to the song. Wisdom struggle against the music's pull. Okay. Bard performance. Focus by singing. There once was a lady who met with a marrow and tried to disclose it to a foolish fellow. Oh, let's do that one. Oh, I only needed five. Oh my god, look at all our modifiers. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Okay. Get back, it's a trick. Bad performance. So her men would not listen. He thought it all tall tales until he rubbed up against all of her scales. <laughs> Do it. Oh, we only got a 12. That was luck. Ouch, my ears. Wait, why am I wet? <laughs> <laughs> why indeed? Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what are you guys doing over here? Wait, whose go is it? It's a harpy's go. Sugar. Harpy used multi attack on Lazelle. Harpy needs 15 to hit. They rolled a 19. I can do cutting words. The target receives a 1d6 penalty to attack roll, ability check, or damage dealt. Bardic inspiration. Reaction. I haven't cast Bardic inspiration though. Um. Alright, let's see what it does. Pardon? <laughs> you said something about a tasty trout hole. <laughs> oh my god, Astarium, where are you going, bro? Oh my god, Gail and Lazella are also there. Oh my gosh, am I the only one with any sense? <gasps> oh my god, he's almost dead. Opportunity attack. Leaving an enemy's melee range also uh, sorry, allows them to attack as you as a reaction. Okay. I have to do a disengage first. Alright, so I now have control of him. Okay, so she's singing this one here. Um... Scroll of Burning Hands. Well, I'm not going to use fire in the water, am I? Um, I wonder if I could put mage armor on myself. Or on Gale. Um, I'm going to shove this one. Does that work at all? I don't know if that's any good. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. I get to create water, don't I? Okay. And Gail's turn. Oh, I should have moved him away. Oh no, she would have hit me. Um, doesn't matter. We've lost Gail that many times this run already. It's fine. Oh, a crit miss. That's good. Ooh. We got her on the way out. Oh, Starion, I really need you to repel or oh, resist that. Oh. Lizelle, wake up. I really need you to hit her on the head so she stops singing. <gasps> yes, skin her alive. <laughs> um, oh, missed. Good job, Gail. <laughs> okay, what would be good in the water? Maybe lightning? Or should I try to take her out because she's singing? Let's try to take her out because she's singing. I don't know. Let's see. 
Oh, this one is right near. Uh. No, Lazel's almost dead, so let's go. Ooh, is that good or. Let's get on the rock at least. And then next one I can get her up, maybe. Alright, honey. It's your turn to shine, sweet pea. Um. I could move closer to Astarian and then cast this Bane. Target's too far. Are you not? Yes. Okay, let's cast... Or should I be healing? Um... Hmm. I could heal instead. I could throw the toxic thing. Or we could just go for damage. A bonus action. That one's a bonus action. Let's do a heal. Uh, let's heal Gale. For four? Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> Okay, heroism. Make yourself or a target immune to frightened. I don't know if they do frighten. I'm not sure. Um, let's do the dissonant whispers. Let's do it on singing harpy. Oh my gosh. We almost got her. I can't move anywhere else. Who's making that noise? Is that my tune? That's weird. Oh my god. I forgot about the harpy back there. Oh, she missed. That's good. Alright, Astarian, I need you to, like, absolutely pew-pew, please. 65, 65. There's no, there's no attack, uh, what's it called? Uh, attack of opportunity if I do that. Let's go this one, actually, because then I can move Gale on. I don't know, this might not be a good idea, I don't know. Let's go. Oh, hell yes! Nice one, dude. Uh, let's move him a little closer. Yep, there we go. I hope this works. <gasps> Death can't have me. Oh, you're still on two health, Gale. I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> yes, hit, hit, hit. Good work. All right, Gale. Let's res. Oh, opportunity. Damn. Um... I don't know whether to risk it. You know what, Lazel? I'm gonna just forego you for a, for a bit, bub. Instead, we're going to do one on this lady, one on that lady, and one on that one. Oh, I can't do that? I can do four? Oh. There we go. Dude, that was awesome. I take it back, Gail. You're not worthless. <laughs> Only a little bit. All right, you can res her in the next turn. Can't even catch my breath. I know, babe. You're okay. Uh, let's put another heal on Gail. Because who is making that noise? Oh, a hit hill for nine. That was a good one. Um, let's put a bane on her. This harpy. Can I do th all three on her? No. So I can't cast it? Alright, fine. Let's just hit with our weapon. Oh my gosh, we missed. Yep, that's just about as good as that run's going. Mate, there he goes. Bye bye, Mercon. Run, kid, run. Oh, dearie me, we got a critical. That's awesome. Oh, he's luring her back. She's luring him back. Oh, you've resisted. 
Not enough movement. All right, can we get you with a ranged attack? We can. Oh, crit. That was awesome. We'll just take a peek. Beautiful. The witching hour. Let's res her. So it's just this one now. We may as well move closer in case he can do something about it. Mate, Lazelle. <laughs> just stay there, sweetie. Nothing will stand in my way. Um, can we shoot? Yep. A critical miss, dearie me. Don't suppose we can reach with a flourish. No. Another step forward. So this one's singing now. Can you hit her or no? Oh yeah, you can. Excellent. Nice one. Anything of use? Beautiful. We better talk to this kid. Are they gone? They're gone, sweetie. They're gone. Are you all right? Go back to your parents. There's worse thing. Uh, there's worse in the wilds and harpies. Stop sniveling, or they'll be back. Damn, this lady's mean. <laughs> they like tasty little tiefling kids. Oh, bud, soothe the child with a calming tune. Who? Who are you? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible, and then also not so terrible apparently. I'm Smox, the slayer of monsters, teller of tales, saviour of you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Never mind that. Are you alright? Go back to your parents. Those were things in the wilds. Oh, I think we should definitely do the first one. I'm a teller of tales. Wow. I'm Mercon. I... Oh no. I, I had to get the gold from the nest. Mole will be so mad. I got to go. Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, kitty. Oh, Gail. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Mm. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Oh. Sounds serious, man. Okay, rather important, no less. All right, go ahead. I assume this might have something to do with the mysterious protocols of yours. Whatever it is, do make it brief. <laughs> no rest for the likes of us, Gail. Um... Whatever it is, do make it brief. He likes a little bit of a chat, doesn't he? As you wish. Oh, he disapproves. <laughs> We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. <laughs> Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffuse the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. The way you followed the protocol and brought me back to life. In short, I've grown to trust you. Yes, followed the protocol. <laughs> it's very gratifying to hear. Enough with the flattery. Where is this going? Can't say the feeling's exactly mutual. Um, let's go with that sounds, that's very gratifying to hear. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. Oh, God. You see, <laughs> I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay. What kind of condition? You also feel disgusted by how life, miserable as it is, insists uh, insists of persisting in this most wretched world? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Is it contagious? Can it be cured? 
So you've been lying to me this whole time? Wonderful. Ah, uh, I guess this is the dark urge. <laughs> um... But that's sharing a little bit about my character, I guess. Let's do it. No, no, nothing like that. Though if I fail to treat it, then the consequences would not be contained to me alone. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Okay. Your illness causes you to con consume raw magic. I'm going to need the details. What kind of items are we talking about exactly? Wouldn't that ruin the item? What happens if you don't consume these artifacts? Are you telling me that you're addicted to magic? Mm. Yeah, are you addicted to magic? No, no, it's nothing like that. Magic isn't a narcotic to me, it's quite literally a lifesaver. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face alone. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital, dare I say it, critical. Mm-hmm, okay. So where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? I fail to see why you need me to help you with this. You've done fine without me so far. I'd be happy to help. Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. I'd say you're just fishing for loot. Okay, maybe you don't need me to do this. A fair point. However, until recently, I was able to rely on a supply of artifacts stored in my tower in Waterdeep. A supply that has now run dry. Well, and the fact that you're not there. The reality there. <laughs> of the matter is that a lone wizard with a chronic impairment such as my own is not in the most ideal of situations with regards to self-defense. The manner of artifacts I need are not often found waiting patiently on a shopkeep's shelf. One usually has to lift them delicately from trap-filled tombs or prize them from the hands of violent ne'er-do-wells. <laughs> There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Right. I expected as much. Don't worry, I'm happy to help. Why exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard I barely know? And at the end of all that, I lose a valuable artifact? No thanks. Honestly, that sounds terrible. I see no upside to this for me. Um, I mean, there is no upside. Um, the only one that won't really piss off Gale is number one, I guess. So let's just do, all right, I'm happy to help. Why not? We're trying to be good, eh? Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. Oh, no, no, no. Are you talking about my hat? Not my new hat. <laughs> nope. That bad boy's staying on my head. Thank you. Um, now, there was a barrel back here, okay. wasn't there? I'll catch a break. inside I can't believe I sold my uh, my shovel <laughs> um, is there anything over here well oh, there's a boat over there no nothing can't reach there Can we jump? We can. Probably just brings us back around. Mm. Ghostarian. Oh. Oh, Harpy's Nest. 
Is that what that little kid was talking about? Target is too far. Whoops. Here we go. Can't get there. Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Ooh. Oh, a ring of color spray. What's this? Level one illusion spell. When the light hits it just so, the center jewel shimmers with every color of the rainbow. Huh. A color spray? Illusion. Let's send it to Gale, not for him to consume, maybe to possibly wear. I'm ready. That'll give him another. After a short rest, can I have a look at what that does, Gail? Maybe go here. Wait, how do I jump down? Uh, Lost in thought. No, uh, don't do that. No, don't do it on her. Or do I have to choose someone? Lazelle's also missed dead. What on earth? Oh! Uh, I did do something to Lazelle accidentally. Oh, color spray's gone. <laughs> what did that do to her? I have no idea. I've got a long road ahead. All right, um, let's go back to... Because I think we've got everything from here, don't we? I mean, I don't know, so <laughs> I think we do. Beautiful. Mm. Let's go. Come on, everyone. Something good here. I hope. Well, this was pretty cool coming down into this little part. Yep, we've got everything. There's no fast travel near here. No, damn it. Oh, you know what? Let's, um,. So if I do the Song of Rest, do I get these level one slots back? Ooh. Okay, she gets, they get healed. No, I only get a level two slot back. So when I short rest, do I get any back? I'll feel that one later. No, for battle. but we got all our health back. Okay. All right. What now? I think we should go to camp and fully rest, just in case. There are important matters to discuss. Oh my God, dude, Withers. <laughs> all right, let's go talk to Withers. This one, nor this one, and this one are less worthy still. What are you doing? Less worthy still? More riddles from my resident jester. That's really mean. Leave. Let's do the riddles. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Okay. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. What does that mean? For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. So are they dead? Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Do you think I can trust these cultists? Uh, what? Will they be... Are they cultists of the Absolute? 
Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Right. <laughs> okay, will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay, so they're seeking to join me because they're looking to get revenge on being unalived? Is that is that what we're taking from this? Let's catch up with some of these on my mind. party members. Is that blood? No, never mind. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented. Of course, they're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. Are you talking... Who are you talking about? Will? I would assume so. Warlocks. I think I have a magical artifact that you'll be interested in. I was wondering, uh, that condition of yours, why does it require magic? I need you to remain here at camp. Okay, why does it require magic? Think of it as... Tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Hmm. I think I have one. Let's see. Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Oh dear. Okay. I guess it's good to know. Um. Oh, Lazel just brandishing the that. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder, <laughs> or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. So you like him? Or <laughs> Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. <laughs> Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. Ew. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. <laughs> then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. That was fun. That sounds awful. How are you so calm? Try to press <laughs> try to suppress your rising panic. It's not going to happen. We will find a cure. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Hmm. You're worried we haven't changed? This is good news. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Are you sure the crash is our only path to cure? Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each crash contains a safest purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kalir Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself, that we may gain total understanding. That kind of wisdom is very valuable. Books are fallible, as are those who write them. Total understanding? Absolute nonsense. I will not brook your ignorance. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, 
exploring plains so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. I know what you can barely fathom. Mm -hmm. That you cannot bear it makes it no less true. Well, I guess so. You look so unusual. Githyanki are rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. Uh, I'd never heard of your kind until my capture. I know of Githyanki, but I've never met one. I've crossed paths with Githy Githyanki before. And they didn't cut you from navel to neck. Well, perhaps they were otherwise occupied. I am still getting used to people like you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy <laughs> nose of yours looks, looks like, like a mistake. mistake. <laughs> Come on, now it isn't that large. As if your upturned bat snout is any better. Really? Thanks for noticing. Be silent in the face of her goading. Uh, I'm going to say thanks. <laughs> it was an observation, not a compliment. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. Are you leaving us? My past is a mystery to me. Could the parasite have caused that? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. Ooh. A wonder indeed. Uh, I didn't realize that they <laughs> still has a stuffed ogre head. That's funny. Alrighty. Let's end the day. <laughs> Lazel's sharpening her blade. That's funny. It's on fire and she's holding it. sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something uh -oh. is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. <gasps> oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit indeed. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well, blood. Oh. There, <laughs> in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. <laughs> How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? Melee attack? Pick up a stake and lunge at the monster. Um, I'm not going to kill him. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. It feels so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. Hmm. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. What didn't you tell me? I don't care how much you need. You're not drinking my blood. Push into his mind, search for the truth. No, I don't want to do that. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. <laughs> can I? I do. I believe you. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Leave. If I ever see you again, I'll kill you. Um. I do. I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. 
<laughs> He's such an angel when he says that. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. All right, but go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. No, are you mad? We're gonna go the first one, fine. Not a drop more than you need. Really? Um, of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? Oh, we shall. Oh, we shall. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. Mate, she probably likes it, man. She's a dark urge. She loves the blood. All right, I can say that's enough. I can push him back. I can grab the stake. Or let him continue. Mm. Mm. Let him continue. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Oh dear. <laughs> Stop, it's too much. Grab the stake. Or relax, let yourself drift away. Wait, does that mean... Does that mean I die? Let's try, let's try. We're gonna relax. Come on, Astarian. You feel a little cold, but that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Oh my god, it wasn't the knife, it was the starion that got us <sighs> in the end. Oh no. <laughs> Something terrible's happened. <laughs> it just walks away. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Eager for battle. Um. Watch your back. So can I interact with? The <laughs> oh no. Um. We're a long way from Waterdeep. Black, it's well be done. I won't use the scroll of resurrection just in case I need that when I'm out in the world. How delicious. I guess. Uh. <laughs> we better go and see. Uh, a little small talk. With us. I hope I've got enough cash. <laughs> ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. I need them right now. <laughs> um, no, I need... Um, Oh my god, dude, where is the I need to resurrect someone? Be assured, it is not by choice. Yes, 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 hurry up. <laughs> oh my gosh, can I not resurrect myself? I would like to talk about hirelings. Okay, maybe we just Very need to talk well. to him. Recruit a hireling, dismiss a hireling. I'd like to talk about something else. Oh my gosh. Wait, Gale? Well, this does not around, so it might as well. Can Certainly. At once. This is gonna be a bit bad. Ah I shall be here in thy camp. Alright, uh for whenever thou hast need. Be assured. It's not by choice, Lala. It is not by choice. Okay. Very well. Thou canst not hire allies. I must speak with I thy must leader. Speak with thy leader. We've got a little bit of a problem because the leader is a little bit not alive. <laughs> uh okay, where's Lazelle? Oh my gosh. What is that? Mind flayer. Oh my gosh, we are so lucky that we've got one true way. A scroll of resurrection. Or whatever this is. Revivify. Revivify. 
Otherwise we'd be in a lot of trouble. The target is blocked. Well, I want this one. Oh my god, can I not <laughs> can I not resurrect? Huh? Target is too far. What do you mean she's too far? She's like literally right there. Oh no. <laughs> this is a, this is bad. This is really bad. Uh do I need to be closer to her? Oh my god, seriously? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I thought I got it then. Oh my god, seriously. Take your wounds are too much to bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I honestly thought we weren't gonna get her back. Astarian, you are in so much trouble. Always a pleasure. You're... you're here. Thank goodness. I was worried about you. Oh, you weren't that worried? You looked a little ill last night, but you've certainly recovered. Ill? You killed me. <laughs> Bunch of Starian. I don't want to talk about it. Why did you come over to him if you don't want to talk about it? Um... Oh my gosh. We, I don't want to punch. That's not cool. Uh, killed feels like a strong word. Not many corpses have your vigor. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now I admit I got carried away last night. I apologize. Well, I did let you. But look at you now. Perfectly healthy. So let's not fall out over this. We still need each other. After all. <laughs> You're right. Unfortunately, I can't lose any allies. Do we? Why should I keep you around? I need someone I can trust to leave my party. No, you're right. We do need allies. <laughs> That's the spirit. A team once again. And of course, what happened last night shall never be repeated. That's for certain. <laughs> it had better not. And the next time you get hungry, who will you bite then? All right, but you can't drink people's blood from now on. You must say it better not. Now, was there anything else? Oh, gosh. Tell me about your history. How does someone become a vampire exactly? So about you biting me. Mm, so about you biting me. I've already apologized. <laughs> what more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> I need to know how we'll feed you in the future. Just a warning. Try that again and I'll destroy you. Maybe later? <laughs> Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. Oh, he looks so sad. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? Oh, I'm I sorry. Was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. Hmm. They won't ever control me again. Okay. How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free and a true vampire. Okay. In theory. So they bite you and you bite them? In theory? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn? 
to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh... Well, I didn't rest at all, so... I guess I can leave and come back again? Or I just don't worry about it. I'll just heal myself and then... It won't really matter, will it? Alright, let's not worry about that. Let's just get back to town. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look pretty? With the water. That's pretty. Alright. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. The blade? Okay. Hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> a lot of bit, love a bit of party banter. Uh, all right, so can't go up here. No, no, oop. no, okay. Sacred pool. Oh, Bosk. Is he drunk? Weird. Oh. And the antidote. Oh, fuck. By Sylvanus, the old oak, all death begets life. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what they're chanting. Hostess subeunt protogenos muninos. Oh, is that it? Is it? Complexum tuum aptera otum adnos defera. In umbram pretus. Bit of mugwort. Ooh, salts of mugwort. Oh look, tusk. Oh. No, oh, are you rubbing in the mud? What's this lady doing? Speak. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying to that bird? I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. It doesn't look like you're helping with the ritual. Are you helping to prepare for the ritual? Uh, I'm looking for a healer. Find Annette in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Alright, thank you. Uh, what were you saying to that the bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Okay, that's fair. Intimidation. Hmm, suspicious. Do the other druids know? Because I could tell them. <laughs> Persuasion. I help defend this grove. I'm not your enemy. Let's do intimidation. Oh, we need a 15. I don't know if we will. Oh, we did. Okay. No, please. A moment. We may talk, but I do not trust my brethren. Oh, don't you? We follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Oh. And she's wrong? Sounds like she has to be stopped. How do we do that? You still haven't told me what you were doing with that bird. Um, and she's wrong? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsen can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You're not helping the others prepare it. I hear a ritual can protect the grove. Are you helping prepare it? Um, 
first one. We'll the ritual it. is Corgus' decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halson welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Okay. So she's just kind of not going along with it. Find our master. Return to me then. Tell me what you find. Tell only me. Understand? By Sylvanas, the forest father, we are granted balance. Fly safe. Oh. Did that gold just like pop out of nowhere? Why is that gold popping in and out? Is that the bird doing that? Oh, what are you doing, Tusk? <laughs> Looks like he wants a pet, but not. Sorry. Have you lost your senses, Koga? Release her. She stole the idol of Sylvanas. She must pay the price. We will imprison the thief under guard of my servant. When we cast out the rest, she may join them. Let the devil be an example. Oh my gosh. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. The grove will be made safe. The circle will be closed. The circle will be closed. Oh, all right. I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Smox from Celebrant Quest. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Take care, everyone. Bye.